Uh, hi guys, this is Zan and you're watching Zan Tech and Learning and today I'm back with another video. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss about uh, the slow performance issues in the Windows 10 machine. So everybody nowadays, everybody is facing the slow performance issue in the Windows 10 machine. So what happens sometimes we are going to open some application or program in the Windows machine, all of the sudden the circling uh, uh, dots are moving or the circle is moving around and nothing happens like we have to wait a lot and we get frustrated like this So today in, in this video I'm going to give you the 10 steps which will enhance the performance of your machine hundred percent So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So the first thing that we have to follow So right now we have to yeah, go to the left hand side very bottom in the search icon. We have to uh, type there this PC all right, and we will see this C drive and we have to just right click on the C drive and then we have to select properties. All right, and on the properties uh, page, we have to click on disk cleanup. All right, so disk cleanup, when we click on disk cleanup, this uh, page will come up on the screen and you have to check all the boxes. And after that, uh, you have to simply click on OK. And uh, when, we when we click on OK, we will see this uh, pop up and we have to click on delete files. So this is going to basically delete all the temporary files, the uh, thumbnails and the recycle bin. In a lemon language, if I would say it is going to delete all the, um, uh, you know, the junk files from the machine. All right. So this is going to enhance the performance of the machine and now we have to also click on tools and we have to click on check when we click on check so here what we are going to do uh, basically we are going to scan the hard drive like if there's anything going wrong with your hard drive like if there is any cl uh, cluster files created in the hard drive if a hard drive is getting any kind of hardware issue then we we can run this scan and this will let you know if there's a something going wrong with your hard drive because this is going to scan the uh, complete hard drive the c drive i'm scanning right now you can also scan your d drive or e drive also so this scan might take a little bit more time all right so we have to wait a little bit more in my case it, uh, it generally takes like uh, eight to nine minutes so i'm gonna skip that so i'm gonna cancel this all right guys so now we have to click on uh, optimize so remember guys uh, optimization is uh, the part of windows 10 and defragmentation was in windows 7 so these two are the same thing in uh, windows 10 we have to simply hit on optimization to get it running so right now i'm going to optimize my pc it is going to basically check that uh, in a layman language it is going to check if uh, the same file uh, getting saved on a different different location which is basically consuming the space it is going to bring them back on the same place so that it can uh, release some space in your hard drive and you can also run it uh, this uh, defragmentation or the optimization you can run it on a regular basis so in my case it is running on a weekly basis all right so you can also uh, check this out and you can make it running automatically so all right, let's move on to the second step and uh, second step is going to be very important. So please do not skip uh, any steps, the steps on your PC and definitely you are going to say you are going to like this video and say that yes, it is working for me. So now you have to just type here in the search icon run or you and run and you have to type here in this box percent temp percent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, yeah percent temp percent and hit the enter when we hit the enter we will see these temporary files because I I delete uh, the files on a regular basis I keep my perf uh, system uh, tune up so uh, this is showing very less number of files but in your case it might be showing uh, you know bunch of files here all right so now you can also click on this delete by right click on the file and then you can delete but this will again this will uh, basically uh, take these all the files into the recycle bin i want to permanently delete it then i will use a shift and delete key all together all right and yes so this is going to permanently delete uh, delete these all the junk files so i'm going to click on uh, this box and then click on escape all right 
so this step has been done and now again I have to go with the run and then I have to type them and hit the enter and I have to select them all and then shift and delete and then check the box and then click on escape all right and uh, now again we have to type here run all right now in this box now we have to type prefetch all right so when we type prefetch we have to just uh, hit the enter and uh, we have to select them all and uh, like this we can also use control a to select these all the files and we have to use shift and delete all together to delete them all now check the box and then click on escape all right and now we have to close this box now again i have to type here run uh, I'm a basically technical engineer, so I use a shortcut. So you get to type here in this box. You have to type here recent, recent. All right. So recent because I have deleted all my recent files. So this is showing here. This folder is empty. Otherwise, in your case, it will be showing lots of files. You can also delete them. So this is the second step. Now let's move on to the third steps. So again, you have to type here in this search uh, search icon. So we can also click on the Windows button and then type here command prompt. All right. So we have to run as an administrator and uh, we will see this pop up. We have to click on yes. And now this is a very, very important step. I mean, uh, this is basically going to help you a lot because this is going to check the integrity of your operating system because operating system is a uh, uh, is a very uh, very vast operating system and uh, there are numerous of programs like millions of files it's not easy to determine that which file is getting corrupted and uh, how we can fix them so this Microsoft has created this particular command and which is going to help you to fix the corrupt files in the operating system now we have to just type here SFC and then scan now all right and hit the enter when we hit the enter we uh, this scan will be started so this is going to scan the entire operating system like the windows 10 operating system which is running in my machine so this has to go one percent to till uh hundred percent when it will be hundred percent done it will show you up uh, like uh, if it is uh, going to detect some corrupt files it will show you up there was some corrupt files and it has repaired them all right so please wait for getting it done till hundred percent uh, in some cases it might take like uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes in some cases it takes like 25 minutes also so I'm right right now I'm closing it but uh, I would request you please uh, let uh, it be completed first and then uh, X out of it all right so this is the third step that you can follow and now let's move on to the fourth step so now let's move on to the fourth step and in this particular step we have to go to the task manager and we have to just hit enter and we have to go to the startup programs so in my case there are uh, very few programs in my machine but in your in your case there may be uh, numerous programs are running on the machine so let me tell you the startup programs so startup programs are like uh, uh, just uh, you know the programs which are running in your machine without your permission so when we turn on the machine it automatically r start running on your machine so these basically consume the RAM and all the uh, all the hardware functionality of your machine so make sure this these all should be disabled so I'm gonna right click and I will make it disable right click I will make it disable all right so all of them are disabled so except this one particular one which I'm using so I will close this so make sure you have disabled all these programs so you have to just right click and then now it is saying enable because it is already disabled but if you see any program let stop programs are enabled you can disable it all right so I'm gonna close this and this is the first fourth step now let's move on to, to the fifth step which is a very step is very important uh, so here I'm going to talk about how we can uninstall the program so because what happens we don't know how many programs are running in the uh, in the machine itself like some of the unwanted program which we have not downloaded which accidentally downloaded from somewhere so we have to type here in the search icon app with dot cpl 
all right i will leave these all the commands in the description you can follow from there all right so guys please uh, like and share this video also and uh, do subscribe my channels all right so i will type appviz.cpl and i have to hit the enter when i will hit the enter i will see this page do you see guys this page all right so this will let you know how many programs are running in your machine all right so you have to basically check them all and you have to figure it out how many programs are running so in my machine i check all the programs if any of the programs uh, apart from the microsoft do not touch any microsoft programs uh, the OneDrive is the uh, cloud storage, so this is not uh, a, like Microsoft uh, usable file. So what I will do, I will delete uh, some of the program which I don't require in my machine, which I basically do not recognize them. So OneDrive, I don't use it, I will uninstall it. In your case, you can also uninstall the program which you don't use it. This will basically make the space in the machine, even the, it, that will uh, release some part of the RAM in the machine also. So this will basically enhance the performance of your machine. All right, so let's move on to the uh, sixth step. So in this particular step, I will talk about the, uh, you know, the browser uh, cleanup and tune up so that uh, that will also enhance the browsing experience on the machine so let's suppose in my case i'm using google chrome on my machine and uh, so google chrome uh, generally working on my machine i will basically delete some cache files or the memories from the google chrome and that is going to also make the performance better all right guys so i'm gonna use my google chrome and uh, in my google chrome basically i'm going to uh, make the Google Chrome tune up and clean up on my machine. So that is also going to make your experience better while using the any browser on your machine. So you have to basically in Google Chrome if I talk about so you have to click on three vertical dots and then you have to go to setting. In the setting you have to basically go to the in the setting you have to go basically advanced setting all right under the advanced setting you have to go reset and uh, clean up and you have to go with this reset setting so this will uh, remember guys this will delete all the shortcuts disable extension delete cookies and temporary sites data but this is not going to delete history and password so you can simply click on reset all right so when we click on reset this will reset your browser so this will also make make the browser performance enhance and now we have to again click on the three vertical dots and we have to click on history and then again we have to click on history and then browsing history and then uh, we have to we have to basically uh, make sure you have select uh, advanced option under the advanced option you have select all the time now i'm going to delete browsing history browsing history and then download downloading history and then cookies and sites data and the cache files uh, other than that, I'm not going to delete any password or anything. So I will keep these fourth, uh, uh, four options unchecked. I will click on clear data. All right. So this is going to delete all the temporary files or the junk files or the cache memory. Remember, guys, if you visit to any website that also ask you some kind of cookies. So it is going to delete them. All right. So that is step you can follow for other browser for Microsoft Edge or other browser also. All right. All right, so now in this number seven step, we are going to run the virus scan on the machine. So there are two steps. So one thing you can also use your McAfee as I am I am having the McAfee on my machine. You can also use the Windows security, right? So I'm going to use the Windows security on my machine and how we are going to scan by using the Windows security. So we have to click on virus and threat protection. All right. When we click on this uh, virus and threats uh, protection and we will get the page where we can run the quick scan. Do you see that quick scan this thing we can run it here. So this is also an option uh, if somebody is not having the antivirus so that person can run the quick scan and this is going to also scan the machine. But in my case, I'm using the McAfee. So I use the McAfee to run the complete scan on my, my machine. So this will also ensure that if your machine is having any kind of virus or any malware on the machine, it is going to remove them. All right. So this is the second, uh, this is the seven, number seven step, and this is going to help you a lot. All right. Now let's move on to the next step.
all right guys so this is a number eight step in this step particular step we have to check this out how much ram we have in our machine and if let's suppose we have a two gig of ram or the four gig of ram then then definitely the performance is going to be a slow so we have to go to this pc and we have to right click on the properties all right so we will get the information so in my machine i have a four gig of ram and uh, so this RAM is also not good for the Windows 10. At least it should be a six gig of RAM or at least it should be a eight gig of RAM. But the other thing you have to also remember, uh, you have to remember that uh, RAM is uh, basically depends upon the processor. If your processor is like uh, i3, then four gig is enough. If your processor uh, uh, is the i5, then you should be having at least eight gig of RAM. All right. So you can also check this out, how much uh, memory status it is showing. If it is like 100%, then definitely you have to increase the RAM in your machine. So this is the number eight step. Let's uh, now let's move on to the next step, number nine. All right. So in this number nine step, we have to basically, if none of the steps are working uh, for your machine, like your machine is, is still running very slow. So you can go with the reset this PC. Let me tell you guys, uh, this reset with this PC is going to help you if none of the steps are working, but make sure before going with that, make sure you have taken the backup of your data anywhere. So how we are going to open this uh, reset this PC option. So we have to type there in the search icon, reset this PC, and we will get this option. Under the recovery, we will get this option, reset this PC. So before going with the get started, uh, make sure you have the data backup anywhere. All right, but this will also give you the option uh, Like uh, keep my files or go with the without data backup, but would uh, recommend you not to go with the uh, keep my files go with the uh, Remove everything right so do you, do you see this pop-up? So there are two options. All right, so either one you can select I would recommend you to go with the remove everything. All right, so I'm right now. I'm going to cancel it but uh, if you follow this step after that restart your machine and then definitely your machine is going to running like a brand new because it will reload the operating system on the machine so this is a number nine step and this is going to help you a lot and you can also uh, follow my video which i have made and i have basically followed all these steps to reset my pc all right so uh, now in this number 10 step we are going to talk about uh, the ssd or the hard drive some cases what happens your hard drive gets a completely full so right now my hard drive is not completely full it's like 50 percent full but if in your case if you see that if you see that your c drive is uh, completely full like approximate 90 or 95 percent full that may be the one of the reason the machine will be running very slow it will be like a jam shut uh, slowly and gradually when it will be consuming the remaining space four five percent uh, space it will be like a jam shut so that may be one of the reason but the step which i told you to follow like uh, from one to uh, one to eight please follow those steps and then after restart your machine and let me know how your machine is doing in the comment section and definitely you are going to say that the machine is doing better in case if uh, you still have any concern please do mention in a comment section and we will uh, work on it and we will get your issue resolved and please do like and share the video also thank you so much bye now